Hey guys, and welcome to the Festival of the Lost. Destiny's World got a makeover of sorts, going with a whole Halloween vibe for a short time. This event features a newly decorated tower with candles, a purple tint, a few new banners, and even a logo on the Traveler to make the social space scary. Yes, I did say a logo. Added along with the redesign came a few new goodies from both Tess Everest and Ava Levante. Upon arriving in the tower and greeting Ava, she gives you your first Treasures of the Lost package, which contains one legendary mask and a chance at a few new Festival of the Lost goodies such as the Jackalite and Flight of Shadows from Year One. Also included is glue, which will turn your rare mask into a legendary, allowing you to keep it forever, as all rare masks sadly are discarded when the festival ends on November 9th. Along with the package, three quests and an empty candy bag are given, requiring you to fulfill a certain task with masks equipped, such as tipping off the tower as Atheon, similar to Year One, or looting engrams as the Crypt Ark. The bag, however, is filled through obtaining candy by either killing minions of the darkness or guardians in the Crucible while having the mask equipped. Though the quests ultimately don't reward anything upon completion as far as we know, they're still a fun touch and give some added fun to Destiny for Halloween. Ava Levante brings a total of 17 new masks, each having their own rare and legendary versions respectively, with the exception of the legendary Blue Skull Mask, which can only be obtained from your first Treasures of the Lost package, or from purchasing silver to obtain new packages. Tess Everest also comes with new limited goodies, such as three new emotes. Boo allows you to scare everyone in the best way, Monster Dance lets you bring Backstreet back. And finally, Zombie Dance lets you summon all the zombies to get down. Overall, I really enjoy the Festival of the Lost and these ideas, and I hope Bungie and Destiny kind of keep it going through every other holiday, just to kind of keep up the fun. Until the next holiday when we finally find out, that'll about do it at least for this video. I'll have more if anything else comes up from these quests, if they're time-gated or anything like that, so make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you feel like it. But other than that, happy Festival of the Lost!